What's good, you YouTubers? Deep Fish fan, and that's my phone going off. <laughs> Nonetheless, this welcome to another V series duel. Uh, today I got Necro Swarm once again. Uh, this is a deck one, that I mentioned in the first Necro Swarm duel video that I really, really like. So today you're going to be seeing it going up against a Laval Swarm type deck that actually we both kind of got good hands. So let's see how it plays out. So I'm going first, so I'm going Necro Valley, and one of the things that I mentioned in the last videos is the strength of the start of this deck. If you go first in this deck, you have a huge advantage. So right here I'm going Necro Valley, going for Ophion, and then setting my Pandemic. Sadly, he knows that that's a Pandemic back there, so uh, that's kind of worrisome. But he goes Recharge, Charge, Hand Destruction, Molten Conduction Field, Filling up his graveyard quick. Luckily, I do have that Necro Valley out there. So he sets his Lake, uh, Lake Fire Lady. So I draw into Duality, play it because I already pretty much know that I'm going to be setting the Spy. I get the Dark Hole. The reason, okay, this is something I want to talk about. Dark Hole, most people in that situation would have probably gone the Phoenix Chain or something like that. I think, I'm pretty sure it was a Phoenix Chain that was there. But uh, nonetheless, one reason why I like Duality into Dark Hole is because my opponent knows I have it. So now... You know, as long as they're not a bad player and forget, like I usually do. <laughs> but now they know they cannot commit too much to the field without having an answer because they are going to get Dark Cold. So it kind of forces your opponent to play more passive, in my opinion. So, or if I see them go balls to the wall out, you know, then I know they have an answer back there for my Dark Cold. So I have to work my way around that. So it kind of gives me knowledge or restrains my opponent uh, just by getting a dark hole in my hand that I can use. So I really, really like that um, off of the duality. That's something that I usually go for a lot. So right here I drew the wiretap and I set the spy. So, you know, I'm in pretty good control right now. He's stuck to summoning Lumina. So I draw the warning. So I flip the spy, get another spy for more damage instead of destruction because I'm pretty sure whatever it was face down that I could destroy it or get over it. So I didn't really see a need to descend and pop. I go for the key beetle to protect the Necro Valley because I am going against uh, Laval Sworn. So right here, I want to show you something. This is the strength of the deck. So if you look at the control that I have on the field right now, it's absolutely amazing. I have Necro Valley, so shit can't be activated, or shit can't affect car other cards in the graveyard. I have Key Beetle protecting that Necro Valley, so I know that he's not going to get around it without me uh, letting him, pretty much. I have Ophion, so I know he's not going to special summon level 5 or higher monsters, and Lavalaval Swarns, that's pretty fucking important. Uh, I have Wiretap, no traps are going to affect me. Or at least one trap I can negate that could potentially... I mean, right now he's not in a position. He has no traps on the field, so pretty much no traps are going to affect me. That Or no traps worry me. There you go. That's a good way to phrase it. I have Pandemic. My Ophion is going to be safe from any spell or trap destruction. Or anything, really. They can't be affected. And I have Warning, so he cannot summon one of his monsters. So this right here... Or he cannot, he, I can negate one of his summons. So this right here is full fucking control. This is the strength of this deck. So he just goes for the Mirror Forest card trooper set, which it, I think that's probably the best thing he could have done. I go to Key Beetle, I wiretap his Mirror Forest. Not much he could really do from this point. He draws off a card trooper. I hit him with the uh, Ophion. So he's at 1200. He draws, I think he draws another Boost Warrior. So a little bit too late for that one. Uh, rekindling the warning, <laughs> and yeah, so pretty much, you guys, that is Necro Swarm in a nutshell. That's the kind of that's the perfect type of duel that I that you want from this deck. That's the perfect type of setup and stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have a deck profile for this video. I'm not really sure. If not, it should be coming up soon. Uh, nonetheless, thanks you guys for watching. This is Z Fish Fan. This is Laters.